The interesting thing is the fact that this very violent fire world, and it is really violent and very dangerous, even at the small sizes we were using, can suddenly undergo a transition to something which is quiet and with no turbulence at all that we could see. We saw this blue world created, and it seemed relatively stable, but it would move around. And we figured it was moving around to gather in fuel that was on the surface, because afterwards there was no fuel left on the surface. It maintains as a little blue world, a little blue world, and gets smaller and smaller. You can see that in the movie, actually. And then it just dies out. Yeah, it's, it's, it's rather a, a surprising process. And then we wanted to stabilize it so we could do some measurements in the world itself, which we have done since the paper came out. And so we did this by once it's set up, it's turning on a little fuel pump under the surface of the water and kept it going at a certain rate and uh, adjusted that rate so that the blue world would just more or less stay in the same place so we could try to get some measurements. And we found we could stabilize it and keep it on the surface within a small area uh, until we ran out of fuel in the reservoir. And then it just did a very calm death. I'm Elaine Oren. I'm the Glenn L. Martin Institute Professor of Engineering at the University of Maryland, Department of Aerospace Engineering with an affiliation in Fire Protection Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Institute for Physical Sciences and Technology, and I could go on forever here. <laughs>